If England, sorry, if England lose to injury prone France, will it be a failure? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. What? No? no. You know what? How is it a failure to lose to France, the defending world champions? Are you crazy? I think, I think. What? It, it's, it's, it's a sticky one because yeah, you still have to acknowledge France have quality players. Like, sure, many is incredible. Teo Hernandez is incredible. And, and Mbappe is Mbappe. Mm. But it's like, I think we can match them, though. I think our squad is also... I want to say, say also, Come on. France are also scared of, it, of having to play England. Rise up the team. I Come guarantee on. you the French Come players on. would have been like, we don't want to face England. We didn't want to face Bellingham. They don't want to face Kane. They don't want to face Saka. They don't want to face Foden. I guarantee you that all these players, they don't want, they don't want England, man. Listen, you want to know one thing? You want to know one thing? In Marvel, they, they once said, don't worry, we got a Hulk. These guys, they don't care. They got Mbappe. That's what it is. They got Mbappe, and Mbappe will cancel out any team. He's that difference maker. He's the guy who can change the game. And let's be honest, he's played two World Cups, and he already has more goals than Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. This guy shows up on the big stage, and every single person knows that Mbappe is the biggest problem for England, so, and he is the one who's going to win that game. So that's yeah. nice, but what happened when they got knocked out of the Euros? All right, big up Shakiri, man. Yeah, he's, Mbappe's listen, so sick. Listen, listen, he's so sick, listen, but yeah, he couldn't get listen, out of the Euros. Oh, he missed so the penalty. shows that... Wait, what year was the Euros cry. again? Bro, it's that last year, bro. Or whenever it Wait, was. I swear, I swear Mbappe I, missed that penalty. I swear there well. was some yeah. stuff going on with Pogba. I don't want to... I don't know. So, because you're talking about Pogba's judge? Nah, nah. <laughs> what, Pogba's judge? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> listen, listen. Long story short, let's be honest. He missed the penalty in the Euros. I get it. But this is a team that has gone to a Euro final, won a World Cup final. Yes, they got knocked out in the round of 16s, but I don't think they're going to be worried going into this England game. England they have the Euro nice. final as well, man. No, but these guys just won the World Cup. They're defending champions Four for the World Cup. Four years ago, bro. I know, but... England World went to a final more Listen, recently. But it got, How it's... many years does the World Cup happen? It got, it got, it got, it got, stop, stop. Sorry, it... The World Cup only happens every four years, so right. they are still the defending champions. Okay, though, this is the point I would make. France are dangerous. France, of course, are the, are the favourites against England. Mm -hmm. And Mbappe... Is the best player in the world right now. Facts. He is. Mm -hmm. But England can beat them. Of course. And I'll tell you why tell England can how. beat them. I'll tell, I'll, tell you how they can, I'll tell you how they can beat them. Poland today, in the first half, created a number of openings and opportunities and chances. Mm. Barring Lewandowski, mm. none of those Polish players get into the England team. We are balanced, as you've already said. So if that Poland team can open up France, if that Poland team can get in behind France, England have an opportunity to. Okay. Now, France are the better team. France are the favourites. The pressure is on France to win this. They're defending champions, and they're better than England, and they've got the best player in the world. I make them favourites, but I do believe England have a chance of beating them. And for me, I've seen a lot of comments already. You see this one here I put up on the screen. Uh, you're defo not beating France. Bro, you've been here on every England stream. Before the World Cup started, before the World Cup started, before the World Cup started, you said Iran are beating us. Oh, look at After Ooh. Iran, you said the USA were beating us. Joke. After the USA, you said Wales were beating us. Waste. You told us, Mr. Andrews, that Senegal were knocking us out. Now you're saying we're not beating France. And for me... Like, put your dislike towards England aside. France are the favourites, but to act like Bellingham, Kane, Saka, come Foden on, on. cannot open up this France team and create opportunities to score is, is an... It, it's, it's a fast You're deluding term. yourself. You're deluding fast. yourself. England can beat France. Facts. Let me just reply. England, yes, you, you do have a chance to win. I get that. I can acknowledge you guys have a chance to win. But... Also, you haven't been tested to the level of uh, of what France is. You haven't faced a team of that caliber. There's not a lot not of teams. France. There's not a lot of teams. <laughs> one second, one second. France in their group, I feel like they were tested. And I, feel, huh? I feel like they were tested. By I feel who? like they, who, I feel who, like who, they had. So who tested France? Who tested Tunisia. France? <laughs> 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 Come on, you listen, can't listen. Say and tell me that France can't be got at. Man. Not again. You listen, cannot do that. Listen, at the same time. I can acknowledge both teams are quality teams, but I genuinely believe France have, have some key areas where they're better than you. Their attack is going to be better than you, right? The defense, ha the defense has not been as solid. That's where you can get them. Their midfield has not been as solid. So their attack is the only thing they can rely on. If this is a high-scoring game, if this is a high-scoring game, England, England don't win. England have just got three clean sheets on the bounce and we're the highest goal-scoring team in this tournament. I understand what you're saying. France have a better team than England. No one is On disputing. Paper, yes. No one's disputing that. But what's your point, though? My point is France overall 
are the favourites. Are the, are so, the favourites? So, they're the better yeah, team? So, okay, and, but let me just interject say, you for a minute, Egal. You're so, making a valid point, but we all agree with you they're the better team and they're the favourites. Now, to be fair to Egal, I think he's probably going back to the initial question was, will it be a disappointment if England lose? And I, no. said, I said yes. So uh, that's, that's probably you know, where it's coming from. Do you know what I was saying? I'll, I'll get mm. that. So for me, it's it's a depends. It depends mm. on performance. Yeah. Mm. If, mm. England, if England don't turn up, if we don't lay a glove, if we miss opportunities, if we bottle this game against France, then I'm disappointed. If we go mm. out there and we play a good game and they narrowly beat us 2-1, 3-2, yeah. 1-0, and it's close and we're in it, you can walk away proud of the performance. Yeah. I don't want us to go out how we did in the final to Italy, where I felt like we took the lead and we limped out. How we went out to Croatia, where mm. we just kind of, we took the lead and then we limped over the line and it was sort of like, you know, towels between our legs. I want mm. us to be brave. I want us to go at the French. They're, they're a fantastic side, but beating them, yep. knocking out the defending champions, the confidence that could give us could be the springboard to maybe winning this thing. But I, look, I definitely I, make I, France a favorite. So. I'll keep it short and sweet. I just think there's no shame in losing to the defending world champions in FIFA, uh, in in, the, in this FIFA World Cup. Let's be honest. Yeah. If you're going to lose to any team, losing to the defending world champions is respectable. Yeah, of course. No one's reprising so that. So to say, to say, to say it's underwhelming or to say you're disappointed, I get it. You're going to be disappointed because you didn't win. But realistically, you have no God-given right to win. Yeah. No, no, no one does. Not even France. Not France. Yeah. This super chat here says against France, uh, you were going to have to play Phillips uh, for pace over Henderson. Yeah, but a rab a Rabio and Chuma Rabio and Chumani that quick. Rabiot 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 is quick. Rabiot Rabiot has quick. been amazing this tournament. No, but sure. Yeah, but in terms of pace, the, the point is pace here. Sure, many. Sure, many. And who's the who's 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 the other guy next to on the right? Is, it, is that it? Griezmann's been playing ten. Yeah, Griezmann. Griezmann. So, so yeah, Rabio is not fast. Sure, many is the only fast player. I don't think. Phillips. Phillips is not even that quick as well. So Rabio is not fast, but he, this is a guy. He, he covers good. ground. Yeah, he yeah. covers ground. He used to play on the wing for them. Yeah, yeah. So did Henderson as well. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it, it, it's going to be an interesting one. I, 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 I get your point. I just don't think Calvin Phillips is going to come in. He's barely kicked the ball at the World Cup. Absolutely, yeah. I, that's, very that's much, big I, I very and, much doubt it. And if we were to lose by Southgate outthinking himself and doing something like that, that would be more disappointing than him saying, you know what, this team's got us this far. Let's stick to it and go. But what, and go. But what he might do is is put G Bellingham back in the pivot I, and have yeah. and have Foden as a 10 mm -hmm. because he'll help out because he has to do that in a pep system. And then you play Rashford and Saka on either wings because you've got that pace to go in behind. Mm -hmm. I know Harry Kane's going to drop deep as well to help out. Yeah. Maybe that's the ticket in this game to like um, nullify that. But you know what? Both managers, I think, are going to be leaving. I think Didier Deschamps has been there for 10 years. I think, uh, what is it? Southgate Southgate has been there for, what, eight yeah. or six years? They both are leaving after this tournament. So not both not Southgate. I, believe are going to be I, I, I don't know. So, uh, Southgate's up in the air. We'll, we'll see what happens with that.